we're on. Okay, guys, girls. Girls, today I just thought, if you're anything like me, I am so inflexible when it comes to posing and and uh, learning to pose all over again is uh, both time consuming and incredibly painful. Like I'm lasting about five minutes tops in my shoes and with my spine. So here I am to help you guys, girls, with, with your flexibility. So what Renata did was she gave me a couple of really good exercises to do that Joe Rogers taught her. Now the first one, grab yourself a little stick, a little broomstick will do, or the pump bar weight in this case. And we see Renata. Renata, tell us the cues. Yeah, you want to be rotating from the mid, from the waist. So you want to try and stabilize from the waist down and not rotate from your knees. This is rotating from your knees. So when you're posing, what you actually want to do while you're posing is as much as possible have a single trunk and turn from the waist. So as opposed to turning from the waist and twisting, you want your turn to come like that I explained it. Alright? So the width and turning with the lower half staying down. Reason being is when you overly twist and you haven't got that flexibility from the middle of the waist, you're turning through too much, you're losing your width here and you're getting a thicker view from your waist. So you don't want that. So do an in pose, very inflexible pose. Two legs. And now do your pose. Oh, hello, there we are. So you want this to stay, butt up, chest up. Okay. So what helps, mind you, it does get easier when you lose more thickness through the waist. The leaner you get, the more flexible you are as well. So I tend to start just freeing up your waist. And the other one that is really good, turning from the bench. So keeping everything level and using the bench to turn. And note that Renata taught me to actually have the hand on the outside of the bench like that to really to pull, yourself pull yourself through. Yeah, fantastic. And then the other side. And how many of those would you do and how long for would you hold, Renata? If I've got nothing to do, I pick up the rod and do that throughout the day. And this is just before you're posing. You'll feel it. It's like two or three movements. Then let it go. You do get more and more limber. Okay, so that's two little things that you can do to help increase your flexibility. Alrighty. Yeah. Now that you know some uh, a couple of the exercises that's going to help increase your mobility, I've got Jai here in a girl's quarter turn to the side pose, and um, this is a this is a really common quarter turn pose with the girls. And as you can see, it's really ugly. And there's as Renata says, coat hanging out arms. We've got it all badly going on, but most of all, he hasn't twisted how Renata has shown previously how we want. So think of, think of the twist as there is a bar right up the center of your body, and we actually want to get the pec around, around it's an imaginary, imaginary pole, but that might be a good kick uh, Now, we can see that Jai's belly button He's actually still facing that way, but he's got everything. Let's hold it, Jai. Get it work for Jai. Uh, he's showing his pec. He's showing the width in the shoulders, and then it's accentuating his tiny waist. but off-season weight. <laughs> waist. <laughs> okay, so that that is Jai actually with his flexibility being able to wrap around the pole and show his body at the nice position. Let's, let's go onto the other side as well, Jai. So he's facing, we've got the imaginary pole and he's wrapped, wrapped everything around. We've got the width there, the legs are turned on, nice and small there. And the arm position is just love, yeah, spot on. Yep. You girls, yep. lovely. Thanks, Jai. <laughs> if you like that little snippet of information on how to get your figure quarter turns nice, 
uh, please uh, click on, on like, click on our channel, share with your friends, um, even pass a comment if you, if you want, and um, we'll see you in the very near future.